welcome to another set of 8th grade science video notes. Today we'll be talking about climate change. So first off, just what is climate change? While we all agree that the Earth is naturally increasing in temperature, however, human activity has increased that temperature at a higher rate, so it's getting hotter faster than it should be. The presence of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere cause changes in climate patterns across the globe. Scientists have been able to study climate change by looking at uh, old tree cores, ice cores, atmospheric composition, so what, what gases are in the atmosphere, um, the sediment, if they dig deep down enough, they can see what used to be in the environment at the time or what the temperature used to be, and through general observation of what's happening today. When you think of climate change, you might have heard some things on the news like the polar bears are being pushed out of their habitats, so they're losing their habitats. The ice caps are melting, sea levels are rising, the Earth's getting warmer, things like that. Now, as I already mentioned, the Earth's natural processes play a large part in the warming of our planet. However, humans are making it worse. We have something called a carbon footprint, each and every one of us. Since the Industrial Revolution, somewhere around 1850 to now, the greenhouse gases have been increasingly introduced into the atmosphere. This is caused by an increased use of fossil fuels for generating power. A carbon footprint is the amount of carbon dioxide that a person, a family, or a business emits through the use of fossil fuels. Two of the biggest contributors are transportation and electricity. So how much you drive around or whether you fly a plane or something like that um, and how much electricity you use in your home. When we make electricity in a power plant, a lot of times it's a coal power plant. That means we burn coal to heat up some water and we boil it. It's basically like a steam engine that makes electricity for us. So the more electricity we use, the more coal we have to burn and the more CO2 we put out into the atmosphere. So, what's one way that you can decrease your carbon footprint? Well, you could go home and instead of watching TV, just go play outside. Or instead of playing video games, go read a book. Uh, turn your lights off when you leave the room. Carpool together or ride a bus instead of driving everywhere you go. Recycle your trash that is recyclable anyway, instead of putting all of our trash in a landfill. All of these are great ways to reduce your carbon footprint. And even though you're only one person in a world of seven billion, every little bit helps. So you've heard me mention greenhouse gases before. I wanna make it very clear, greenhouse gases do not come from a greenhouse, okay? Greenhouse gases are called greenhouse gases because they act like a greenhouse around the earth. So in a greenhouse, you have glass panels all the way around and those panels let sunlight in, but they keep the heat in. So when you walk into a greenhouse, it's very warm when you walk in. Greenhouse gases do the same thing in our atmosphere. Things like carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbons, also known as CFCs, methane, and nitrous oxide are all greenhouse gases. CO2 comes from the burning of fossil fuels. It also comes mostly from factories, but driving our cars around are a large contributor too. Methane, we use natural gas. Sometimes those can leak and that increases the amount of methane in the atmosphere. As many cows as we farm, um, honestly, cow farts, the methane and the cow farts are a big contributing factor to the amount of methane in the atmosphere because there's so many cows in the world. When we throw all of our trash in a landfill, if there's any organic material in the trash, like old banana peels or things like that, as they decompose, they release methane. So putting all of our trash in a landfill is just increasing the amount of methane that we have. Chlorofluorocarbons, now these are things like Freon in your refrigerators when you get rid of an old refrigerator and the Freon leaks out in the junk pile. Also back in the day before they were banned, uh, there was a lot of CFCs in your hairspray, in the aerosol spray cans. CFCs are really good at eating away ozone, so when you ever hear about a hole in the ozone layer on the Earth, which is a protective layer from the sun's radiation, um, that's caused by the CFCs that we've emitted into the atmosphere. 
Then we have other gases like sulfur and nitrous oxide, and, and these are come from the incomplete combustion of fossil fuels. So as you notice in this diagram, we have the natural greenhouse effect. So the way the world's supposed to work, we have the sun, and it gives us its solar radiation, all these light waves coming in, and it heats up our earth, and some of the heat gets trapped, and some of the heat gets released, and it stays a normal good temperature. When humans add extra greenhouse gases, we increase the layer of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. Therefore, most of the heat gets trapped and not as much gets let out and back into space. Now, if you want to look at the actual data, in the last 100 years, temperatures have only really risen 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it really is. Some places are a whole lot higher, some places haven't changed. That's just the global average. It's projected to raise another 3 to 10 degrees in the next 100 years, if we keep going the way we're going now. And the sea level, it's not just dependent on the polar ice caps melting. Uh, when the ocean waters warm up, they expand, so that adds to the rise in the sea level. Uh, but in the last 100 years, it's risen somewhere between 4 and 8 inches. And it's predicted to go another 4 to 35, most likely somewhere around 19 inches in the next 100 years. Looking at these graphs here at the side, you can see historical data. Um, the temperatures, you can see there's a big uptick at the end of the temperature graph, showing that it's gotten warmer. The middle graph talks about the amount of CO2 that's in the atmosphere, and that's gone up drastically at about the same time the temperatures have risen. And then the last one is our carbon emissions, which you can see really goes up sometime around the Industrial Revolution and since then has only increased. So if you didn't get anything else from these notes, you should at least know that the Earth is naturally warming up the way it's supposed to be, but humans are contributing to the amount that it's warming up, and we're making things worse.